The world-renowned inventor Nikola Tesla once said, The mind is sharper and keener in seclusion and uninterrupted solitude. Originality thrives in seclusion free of outside influences beating upon us to cripple the creative mind. Be alone. That is the secret of invention. Be alone. That is when ideas are born. This may have been one of the greatest minds that ever lived. I would like to challenge those in my audience, however, to go to your favorite news site, whether it be alternative or whether it be mainstream media. doesn't really matter whether it's left or right. Pretty much all you will find is stories about people maybe a few about events, but nobody talks about ideas. See, Eleanor Roosevelt from the same era said, great minds discuss ideas like Nikola Tesla. Average minds discuss events and small minds discuss people. When you go look at those sites, all you will see are groups of small minds discussing people. On the right, on the left, this person said this, this person slept with this other person and shouldn't be in charge of this other investigation and all this nonsense. This person over here halfway around the world um, died, this person lived. It's all about people. Nobody is discussing ideas anymore. Many have come to this channel and tried to point fingers and laugh and say, Florida Maki, why do you talk about Antarctica? It's just silly. It's stupid. It's not really that. It's, you know, half the people don't even believe it's there. They believe it's a giant ice wall. The other half of people say, well, it's wind, ice, rock, and snow mucky, penguins and seals, that's it. And yeah, there are a few tiny places where we've put some outposts, but no, nothing you're seeing is real. Nothing you're seeing is real. It does remind me of the quote, beating upon us to cripple the creative mind. I can think of no better description of YouTube. This guy was 100 years ahead of his time. The tiny minds that don't like ideas. But we have some news today. We have some news today about Antarctica that will probably make a few people, if they're fair, sit back and say, wait a minute, maybe that Florida Maquis guy wasn't so crazy after all. We've talked about cities in Antarctica. We've talked about the future of Antarctica and what it might hold. Well, real quick, as always, before we go there, I want to say thank you to everyone who has continued to join us over the Florida Maquis Patreon channel. For only one U.S. dollar, you can have access per month, one U.S. dollar per month, fully refundable, by the way, first 90 days. You can have access to a catalog, a library of ideas, videos about ideas, not about people, not even really about events, but about ideas, about what the future holds, something Nikola Tesla would have appreciated, something that Eleanor Roosevelt would have recognized as the sign of great minds coming together and discussing things. Now, love to have you over there. One dollar a month would make a huge difference in my life. Like I said, fully refundable first 90 days. No questions asked. Comes out to about three pennies a day. Now, what's the big news? What's the big news? Well, I'm sure many of you have seen this. A very strange place for Iran to be drawing a line in the sand. Iran claims Antarctica ownership, defying global treaty, preps for military operation on South Pole. Announcement emphasized Iran's intention to raise its flag and conduct activities in Antarctica. Now, you can believe whatever you want about the Iranians. They are not a frivolous people. They are not a foolish people. They are not blown about by the whims of what's popular now. They're also not a wasteful people or an unintelligent people. The Persians have been around for quite some time. So you'd have to ask yourself a question. Is it just perhaps in Iran there's a shortage of wind, ice, rock, snow, seals, and penguins that they plan to import? No. There's something else going on down there. And we've been talking about it at this channel for going on six years now. The satellite imagery is very clear. 
I'm sure many of you are aware of this, but some of you might not be. This channel has not done an original video like this long form video since November. What we have been doing since November is revisiting the entire catalog of videos that were made between 2018 and 2020 regarding an article by this channel that most people hadn't seen because it had been shadow banned by the platform. We decided to release them in a different way to do uh, live premieres and to splice them together in a different order so that people could see everything all at once. This is the first time since really around, oh, Thanksgiving that I've actually gotten in front of a microphone other than over on the, uh, the premiere side and spoken with my audience. That's how many videos there have been talking about Antarctica that have been languishing in my library that nobody sees. In fact, if you add up all of the views on all of my Antarctica videos, the hundreds and hundreds of them, they don't add up to usually the one or two most popular that you're aware of that YouTube decides to push that have... 2 million, 3 million, 5 million views, and it's all basically make-believe. No actual locations like I provide. No actual research done. But even China has gotten in the game. They've been in the game down there for quite some time. They have five different stations down there now. And they're building another one. Another one with a huge area for energy storage and generation. Observatories, antennas. They're settling it. Antarctica is being settled. You'd have to ask yourself why Brazil, India, China, Iran now, so many other countries, South Korea, have decided to go down to a place that's allegedly just mountains, wind, ice, rock, and snow, shadows, Maki. All you're seeing, Florida Maki, are shadows. Those are just shadows and strange indentations in the snow. There's, there's nothing down there. Well, apparently, apparently a whole bunch of other governments have been fooled as well. This is uh, Great Britain. They've actually created a station, you ready for this, that walks. That's right. This station, see if I can find the right picture here, has the ability to walk itself from location to location. See, one of the problems that they've had to overcome down there is when you put a station down, because the wind blows all the time, snow builds up and covers the stations virtually, well, I mean, within a matter of years. So they've had to build all these stations on stilts so that the snow has a place to go. And now that they've mastered this technology, it's Katie bar the door. Virtually every major nation in the world is going to be settling Antarctica. Well, except for the United States. Or should I say, New Sodomia, as we have referred to it in other videos. Because all the United States, at least other than Florida, can seem to do is get itself all lathered up over people. And what is this person doing? And what is that person doing? And what's this other person doing? Meanwhile, the rest of the world is moving on with ideas. How Antarctic bases went from wooden huts to sci-fi chic. A lot of people look at these images and think, oh, they're just sci-fi uh, artist renderings. Absolutely not. This is Barati. This is the Indian station. Already built. Already built. Already functioning. This is a Jang Bogo. South Koreans. Looks like something out of a, of a movie, doesn't it? But it's real. And this has been going on for, for years and years and years. And this is what it's going to look like, probably not in my lifetime, but in our children's and our grandchildren's lifetime. And I hope somebody, somewhere, had the foresight to perhaps record and catalog what was said in 2018, 2019 by this channel. And wonder, I wonder how they knew. I wonder how they knew. There's a fantastic, uh, I'm not going to play it, so I don't violate anyone else's copyright. Um, this channel is called Magical Cities. It only has 1,700 subscribers. You can see that in the lower left here. City of Antarctica um, by drone in 4K, 60 FPS. Now, it is all. this is all 
um, created by CGI. But it gives you an incredible view of what we might see in the next 50 to 100 years and what they're going to discover down there. Because when we came to this country, when we came to this country, the Europeans meaning, came to the colonies back in the 1500s and 1600s, the things that we reported back to the crown, back to the crown of Spain, France, England, whomever, it wasn't believed. It was seen as wildly exaggerated. There were men that came back from the area we know today to be Florida. It was all called La Florida at one time. And they reported water dragons that were 15, 16, 18 feet long, giant teeth, armor plating, could hide in three feet of water, explode, take a man and disappear, and they'd never see the man again. And they populated this, this strange new world by the tens of thousands of all sorts of sizes. And of course, what do we know that to be? We know that to be the truth now. But back then, it was seen as fantasy. It was seen as the make-believe rantings of uh, sailors who had had a little bit too much on the trip home. That was the story out of the New World for 100 years, for 150 years. You have to wonder, you really do, what's coming and what isolation is going to bring out of Antarctica. That's why I started with this. Could you imagine how many great minds will be able to be free of, I guess what we could call the YouTube effect? That when everybody, or pardon me, when anybody brings up an idea that isn't well accepted or well explored, it is just ripe for attack and ripe for derision and ripe for finger pointing and those who just don't have big minds, the tiny minds that want to talk about people. The mind is sharper and keener in seclusion and and uninterrupted solitude, originality thrives outside of YouTube. In seclusion, free of YouTube, outside influences beating upon us to cripple the creative mind. Be alone. That is the secret of invention. Be alone. That is where ideas are born. Nikola Tesla lived in the same era. Eleanor Roosevelt. Great minds discuss ideas. Average minds discuss events. Small minds discuss people. And that's what brought us here today. I find it um, interesting, if not ironic, that I have 130,000 subscribers here at YouTube, and less than 2% have signed up at Patreon. It tells me who in my audience are the thinkers. It tells me who in my audience are the great minds. And it also tells me who isn't that the 98% plus that haven't joined us over at Patreon, partnering with Vimeo, that they are who Eleanor Roosevelt and Nikola Tesla were talking about. So I'll leave it there. God bless. Pray for each other. I'll pray for you. Pray for me. Lift each other up. Join us at Patreon if you can. God bless. Like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.